Hello everyone and welcome to Case of the X Tarot Reading for March 2018. I'm doing the Case of the X videos a little differently this month. I thought I would look at the energies through your ex's sun sign rather than through your sun sign. So this video is for those of you with an Aries X. And this will look at the energies between the two of you for March 2018. So I'm using a new deck. This is the Vice Versa Tarot. And it has a depiction on either side of the card, which means different things. Um, the frontal view is the outer self, and the back view is the inner self. So I'm going to pull one of these to see how your Aries X is, you know, viewing the relationship and situation between the two of you in March 2018. What their overall primary energy is about you and this relationship. Um, all right. So we have the Page of Swords reversed, and this is actually a better position. Um, than this. So this here is how your ex Aries is, you know, acting towards this relationship. What this here says is they're looking for a safe place to land, okay? There may have been um, a lot of aggression, petty things said in the past. You know, this is a very challenging energy to deal with in this position. But in this position, it's like that energy is dissipating. And now we are looking for a safe place to land and reestablish ourselves. okay? So for you guys, the energy with your Aries, if you've been having a lot of difficulty, if they've been just really mean and you know, bad communication, all of that, that energy is changing in March and they're going into a more introspective state of mind rather than, you know, just lashing out. It's hard to explain. So whether you were like dealing with them specifically or not, it's as though in the past, you know, they just didn't seem as open to you. You know, they may have completely cut you off, cut you out entirely. But as we come into March, they're going in inside of themselves. And now they're looking for a safe place to land in regards to their feelings and relationship with you. Okay? So let's pull some cards to see what you think your Aries ex thinks and feels about the relationship, okay? This is your perspective, what you believe is going on inside of your Aries ex. So you are coming through as the King of Coins reversed, the Knight of Cups upright, and the Page of Cups upright. So what I get from this energy is you feel that your Aries still loves you, but they're very selfish and unpractical in their expectation of you in this relationship but from your perspective you really believe this Aries still has emotion for you um, it's the night and the page that's the water energy and also you know because we have this earth earth energy and then this water energy I feel that those of you who are an earth sign or a water sign are going to resonate more with this Aries X reading than per perhaps a fellow fire sign or air sign just because it's energy but it's like you believe this Aries still loves you but you don't see this as like a mature love it's something that's you know you believe is more superficial because they can be very selfish very impractical 
Um, also, since this is general reading, you can believe that this is how they see you, that you are selfish, that your love is more superficial and kind of fleeting and flaky. You know, this is general, so it could go either way. Apply it to how it personally fits for you. But that's basically the message of these cards. You know, it's somebody who is selfish and kind of immature, and you don't really believe in the depths of their emotion because it seems like it's fleeting. So let's see what is going on with your Aries X in actuality. How do they truly feel about you and the relationship? What do they think is going on? What do they think? What do they believe is going on for them personally? The truth. did not want to shuffle. Aries does not want to give up what they are truly thinking and feeling. So they are coming through as the Two of Wands reversed. The Eight of Cups upright. And the Empress reversed. So the, how they're feeling, and I see this one of two ways. Either they're at the point where they're like, no, I don't want to be with you anymore. There is no second chance for us because we have the two of wands reversed. There is no second chance for us. I am moving on, eight of cups, and, you know, I don't see any fertility or longevity in this relationship over here. Okay, that is one message. Now, for others of you, this could indicate that because I see for some of you, it's like your Aries is still in love with you. Maybe you're pulling away. That's what they're seeing is like you are projecting that there is no other chance for them with you and you have walked away from them. Okay, so that's that goes either way. Either they have truly let go and are moving on or they see you as to have truly letting go and moving on and apply that to your situation how it fits okay if you truly haven't let go and you're hoping and wishing that it gets back together then i feel it's more like this aries has moved on you know i hate to say that but that's what's coming through in these cards is at least in march they don't they're not focused on your relationship anymore okay they're looking for a safe place to land and to move forward now if your Aries is still you know offering you romance and things like that and you're feeling as though you know you you're not quite trusting what they're offering I feel like that's more the case where they think you have let go and moved on okay and and they don't really have another chance with you but that's only if this Aries has still been trying to pursue you. If they haven't, and they've been absent, and they just haven't had much to do with you, and they're blocking you, they have moved on, okay? So let's see what the Gaia Oracle has to add to these energies. So you are coming through as intuitive, intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart. And they are coming through as the night wind, facing fears, subconscious release, healing. So uh, Pisces actually received these, but it, it was um, Pi Pisces. All, yeah, I was like, it was switched, but it wasn't. It was... Pisces feeling this and then whoever Pisces was dealing with was in this energy so what I feel is going on here is you the ex of Aries your heart still whispers their name whether you want to get back with them or not you're still having quite a hard time letting them go 
okay? It's like your heart continues to whisper their name. Now, something interesting is we have the Two of Wands here and the Empress over here, which is a three. Night Wind card is card number 23, okay? So for Aries, what they're feeling about this relationship is there's something about it that they fear or there's some negative lower energies that exist within them when it comes to this relationship okay there's something about it where i feel aries is like disconnecting letting go and moving away from the relationship now this could be because something happened and you know they want to move on or maybe they've changed their mind and they want to move on and find somebody new or it's the emotion and the connection, maybe it really made them afraid, okay? Because sometimes when we have a really strong and intense connection with somebody, if we're not ready for that, it can be scary rather than exciting, okay? So there's different things happening over here with this Aries. Um, again, I feel like it's split. There's some of you where this Aries has been trying to get back and then there's others of you where this Aries has completely cut you off and out. And the ones where this Aries is like been trying to come back, they still have a lot to deal with internally. Okay, they're going through a lot and they still have a ways to go. So you would be cautioned not to jump right back into anything and recognize there's a healing process that needs to take place and it could have to do with their past, you know, whatever. It's just there's something going on here with this Aries and they need to release. They need to heal. Something inside of them needs to shift before they're truly able to give you the partnership that you desire, okay? Now, for those of you where this Aries has just cut you off, like I said, I really believe that they are moving on. Like, they, they have no interest in March in, like, working anything out, even if you are in that place of feeling very strongly towards them still, okay? So, let's take a look and see... What's keeping you holding on to this Aries? And then for those of you that have the Aries that's trying to come back in, let's see what's causing them. What is their true motivation of trying to come back in? So you are coming through as vision, Aphrodite. This to me is saying that you feel you have like this um, deeper knowing or this vision beyond this heartache and pain that you and this Aries are like twin flame. You are soulmate. Okay. Um, those of you who are having a hard time letting this Aries go, that is why. That is where you believe your connection is, and you believe they are your twin flame, okay? And now, over here, they're coming through as belonging, house of the night. So, since, this, since we have two things going on here, where some of you are dealing with an Aries who is just completely cut you out of their life and then we're dealing with some of you are dealing with an Aries who is trying to come back in those of you who the Aries has completely cut you out basically what's going on with them is they don't feel as though they fit with you the way you feel that you fit with them okay because we have belonging and based on the energy that I'm reading is how this card goes and like I said there is very two very strong things happening some of you this Aries is trying to come back in some of you this Aries is not and so I really want to keep reiterating that and not confuse or blur those lines if your Aries has cut you out has blocked you has walked away acts like they want nothing to really do with you okay it's 
they don't feel like you and them are the right fit regardless of you feeling like they are your twin flame okay uh, the cards on their side have been so significantly strong in that aspect okay so I just want to point that out it's reiterated all through this reading so I feel like some of you watching this it's because you need to let this Aries go at least for now because it's there's they are not open to you at this time that doesn't mean it won't change down the road you know it could who's to say but for March for now no they are not open to a relationship with you in a romantic way they don't see you guys as the right fit okay now for those of you where this Aries is trying to come back in to your life it's because they have come to this place where they recognize that you are like the best fit for them okay highly emphasize that that Aries will be actively pursuing you okay it, they're not ignoring you they're not blocking you if anything you're trying to ignore and block them no this other set they feel like you guys fit together in a very special way there might be a lot of regret on their behalf for maybe their behavior or perhaps if it was you that caused something to have the relationship end it's like they're still in this place where they feel like you are their perfect fit okay regardless so let's pull some earth wisdom about the energy in March between the two of you. And you know, either a uh, storyline makes complete sense for this card of looking for a safe place to land, okay? Because if this Aries is trying to come back into your life, you know, where is my safe place to land to express myself, to be vulnerable with you? Where do we begin, okay? And if this is an Aries who is trying to get out of your life and is not reciprocating on any level, again, it's they're looking for that safe place to land, to be straight and be like, look, I don't want this anymore, okay? I don't. So such strong either way again if they're been reaching out to you i feel like they really do want to work things out if they have completely been ignoring you blocking you flaky you know blowing you off they don't want to be with you anymore they don't not based on this reading you know and i know when somebody is really hung up on an ex it's hard for them to accept that and it's another thing about personal readings I don't enjoy is you know when somebody's like has this notion that they're supposed to be destined with this person and the reading comes through where the other person is just not interested anymore like it's over for them and so many people cannot handle that even if that's the truth so I, I just uh some of you need to know that this Aries is not interested anymore. They're just not. If they have blocked you, they are ignoring you. They flake out all the time. They're playing games. They don't really want you. And the universe wants you to know that, okay? No matter how strong you think your connection is to them, you know, some there's things called karmic relationships. And they feel intense and strong. There's a reason for that. It's because if the intensity wasn't like that, you wouldn't let this relationship go easily and the lesson would not be gained. The karma would not be bad. Balanced, okay, so for those of you where this Aries is just not even on board with you I feel like this is karmic energy. This is not twin flame like you might believe Okay, and I hate to say that because I know how hard it is But I'm not gonna pretend like in tarot reading the truth is the truth and sometimes the truth hurts But sometimes we need that for us to be able to be like, you know what? Yep it's time for me to move on with myself and my life. All right. So we have responsibility, rest, and clear aura. Yep. What I see here for those of you with this Aries X 
regardless of whether they're trying to come back in or they've totally shut you out. Either storyline. March is about everybody taking responsibility for who they are, their actions, the energy they've put into this relationship, okay? it's It doesn't matter who did what wrong. The way we respond and react is completely our choice, okay? And depending on how well we are in control of our own emotion, it really dictates how we're going to react and respond to anybody. And so March, the energy here is that it's time to take responsibility. If you are somebody that's dealing with the Aries who doesn't seem to want anything to do with you, it's time for you to get real with yourself and, you know, look at things from a logical perspective rather than this emotional attachment that you feel to the Aries because that emotional attachment is clouding your vision and not allowing you to see what's really happened here, okay? Um, for those of you where this Aries is trying to come back in, it's like you are in a stance of you need to take responsibility, Aries, for what you did, for your actions, for your behavior, for who you are. Like you need to take responsibility for that before you could come back into my world. Okay. Now, next we have rest. This goes for either storyline. March is not the time for this relationship to reconcile because what follows that is clear aura. And I'm not surprised because we have the night wind here. There is um, a lot of emotion healing that needs to happen and there's a lot of energy healing that needs to happen so March is not a time to reconcile this relationship meaning coming back together verbally saying we are back together it's not about that it's about healing your energy and Aries healing their energy and truly making changes from deep within for any sort of second chance at this you know relationship that's the only way it will prosper is through this you know deep healing and cleansing of one's self and taking full responsibility for one's actions and you know really coming at this from a mature perspective okay and now if Aries has cut you off and Aries has left you this is the universe telling you, listen, it is time for you to rest, rest your mind, rest your emotions, come into your logic, ground yourself. You've got to see this for what it really is, for what it really was and what it was trying to teach you. And if you continue to just try to pursue this through March, you're going to be spinning your wheels. You know, don't be hoping, don't be praying. You should really be introspective and taking responsibility for yourself and allowing the universe to show you opposed to you thinking that you know ask the universe to show you okay because clear aura it, you've really got to balance your energy there's things that need to be released things that need to be let go of and when that happens you're gonna realize that this Aries was never the right person for you okay those of you where this Aries has really been blocking you playing games whatever the situation may be once this work happens you are going to be grateful that it did not work out with this Aries, even though you come into March thinking this is your twin flame. You know, once you do the work, you don't want that anymore. You don't because you realize that was just a karmic connection to help me balance my energy, to learn some lessons, to expand, leading me towards who my true twin flame is. Okay? So, those of you who are rejected, this Aries plays nothing but games. It's time to love yourself and see this relationship for what it truly is, not what you hope it to be or, you know, what your really intense emotions tell you it is. That's the message I'm getting. Now, those of you where this Aries is trying to come back in, the message is pretty much the same with in respect that March is about a month of healing and clearing your energy. It's not a, a month of let's get back together in a relationship. It's, you know, we need more time here to heal this energy, to work on ourselves and see where that's leading us, okay? 
So I'm going to draw one more card for advice. It. We have the nature spirits. I believe um, Pisces X got this too. So I feel a strong Pisces Aries connection in these readings um, for case of the X for March. Okay, I'm just going to put that out there. And like I said, um, this should probably be a very strong message for you if you are either an earth sign or a water sign, and Pisces is water. So. Anyways, this is exactly everything I've just told you. It's time to let go and let the universe handle this and really show you the way. And again, disconnect from those intense emotions because they're clouding your vision. You need to see things from the perspective of like your logic, not your emotion. And the universe is saying, listen, just let go. And I will show you everything. All will be revealed to you. Okay? So that is the messages I'm getting for those of you who are dealing with an Aries X in the month of March. I know um, for some of you where this Aries has just totally blown you off, you know, I don't really see longevity or reconnection based on these cards. And I'm sorry to say that, but again that it's just reiterated over and over and then those of you that have an Aries actively trying to come back in you know I've already expressed what needs to happen in that situation as well so let me know if you like this format better where I'm doing the reading based on the sun sign of the X rather than your sun sign I am wishing you lots of love and healing and clarity for March take care